was a long day in Scott County District Court today where jurors heard closing arguments before returning a verdict in the murder case against Anthony Gray. LXAT's Michael Burke has details from the courtroom. It's tonight's big story, 530. Count one, we the jury find the defendant James Anthony Gray guilty of murder. It's a guilty verdict once again for Anthony Gray on two counts of murder and tampering with evidence after a Scott County jury deliberated for less than two hours today. Gray was convicted for a second time in the 2007 shooting deaths of his parents, James and Vivian. His first trial resulted in a hung jury. The guilty verdict following the second trial was overturned by the state Supreme Court on a technicality regarding coerced confessions. During this morning's closing arguments, the Commonwealth's attorney told jurors that if Gray's alibi was strong, he'd have been exonerated long ago. They also used Gray's words against him while describing his relationship with his parents and that he acted after learning he had been cut from their will. Anthony Gray did not have a good relationship with his parents. Anthony Gray did not have a okay relationship with his parents. Anthony Gray had an absolutely horrible relationship with his parents. The defense claimed that the Commonwealth made too much of this so-called strain relationship between the parents and their son. They looked at everyone around him, going all the way back to 1993, and tried to find anything bad, he said. Not tell you the other side. 1993, he was mad at his parents. We heard that. The sentencing phase began after a short recess, but as a point of reference, when convicted at his last trial before it was overturned, Gray received 20 years each for James and Vivian, 40 total. In Scott County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.